eliminating costs, increasing investment, Florida Governor Rick Scott has a new budget that proposes to spend less and contribute more to K-12 education. Well, every dollar we can keep in the pocketbook of a family is very important because they can be spent uh, on better things. And having, again, having a sophomore in college myself, I know how expensive the textbooks are. So the reduction in taxes on those products helps. And again, the college experience is expensive and we don't want kids to come out with more debt than they can bear, more debt than their families can bear, and we want to keep it accessible to all kids, so every, every penny counts. According to the American Enterprise Institute, college textbook prices are 812% higher than they were a generation ago. Well, it's kind of like, you know, you, you look at the price of gasoline taxes today. Gas, a gas per gallon's down, so every Florida family saves maybe $750 a year, and they spend that in Florida. Well, the same thing for taxes on books. The same thing can be said about taxes on anything. You know, if uh, you eliminate those taxes on those books, it makes it more affordable for students to buy the books. If they had the full price availability with the tax, then they're going to take that money and spend it somewhere else that will enhance their time on campus. Earlier this year, the national magazine Education Week ranked Florida's public school system 28th best in the nation. But Florida earned a D plus in the school finance category. Well, certainly no dollar that's spent in the classroom is, um, is enough. We, we can't invest enough in our kids. And Governor Scott understands that. We want to make sure that the money gets to the right places, that it's invested in those things that really benefit children and their educational experience. I think we have to be smart in how we spend the dollars. I think we need to make sure that they go into the classroom and not into administration. And um, I think we need to make sure that the educational opportunities for our students is enhanced through the spending of that additional dollars. Governor Scott, in his proposed budget, he wants to allocate and direct uh, more funding, per student funding, than has ever been had before in the history of Florida. Last year, the budget had more funding for education than had ever been had before in the state of Florida. So now it's taking that type of funding from an overall education funding to a, a per student funding. You have to throw enough money at it to get a good, a good education. In addition to a textbook tax break, Florida high school students also have the option of a number of scholarships they can apply, including the Benequisto Scholar Program. The program we affectionately call the Benequisto Scholar Program is to incentivize those individuals who have been designated as National Merit Scholars, which is the smartest 2% of the children in the country, to stay in Florida. And if they choose to attend a Florida institution, we'll give them a full four-year scholarship because we know if they learn here in the state, they'll stay here and, and hopefully raise their families here as well.